This is a new piece of writing. So the first thing that me and Sandy sort of talked about was uh, you're trying to get into her head as the writer and also as the director. So the first thing I did was have a quick chat with her about what common references we had or what things she thought were really important for this piece. And it was uh, quite clear that there was a very specific time period. So one part of the play is set in 1812, the other part of the play is set in 2016. So because there's two time scales to the piece, um, it felt it was really important to have a slight sort of heightening of the day-to-day -day 2016 world and also to have that matched in 1812. Once you've had some sort of basic ideas like that, I had a chat, another chat with Sandy uh, and then started doing costume drawings. So at that point you are kind of going, how do you map the narrative and um, sort of map the character arcs throughout the story? So there's a lot of kind of finding the differences between people and trying to highlight those with a choice of fabric or cut. I always do lots of first-hand research, so I've got lots of books that I go to. And then I went to the Victoria and Albert Museum in London and looked at patterns and looked at the mannequins. Doing that first-hand research was amazing because it just made me realise how expensive and beautifully made all those items of clothing were. So that actually kind of gave me the confidence to go there's a way to have lots of colour and lots of pattern and lots of kind of beauty in this. There's lots of those elements that came in at that point and then it was just, we went Pinterest crazy and actually me being in London and Sandy being in Scotland, like using Pinterest was a brilliant way of just going, I've seen this, how about that, I've seen this, how about that. If you're dealing with people playing multiple roles across multiple timescales, you kind of are going, right, I need to, to do something really fun with this but also be very clear about giving the audience like keys in, so kind of simplifying modern school uniform so that as soon as you see someone put a blazer on you know that they're back at school. Working with ensembles who have worked together before and are very comfortable and confident in their own ability so that actually you can take risks, you know like actually people are suggesting things which is yeah it's just a really great experience to be able to have those conversations with a lot of women and having women leading a project it's nice, it's refreshing. Thank you.